These are five things that will help you save more money in Emergency Response Liberty County. If you do enjoy or if it helps you out at all, please do make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one is make sure that you are buying cars that are good value for money. What I mean by this is don't go buying a car that's really, really slow, but is really expensive. Take this car as a good example. This is a very, very expensive car. I think it's like a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars, but it's really, really slow. For that price, you can easily get a car like this one, which is so much faster, as you can see. And there's loads of different features that determine if a car is actually good value for money, such as how many seats it has. For example, the BMW has four seats. Maybe that means it's better for you because you can carry more of your friends in it, or you can be in a mafia and have more people in your car. And you also have to bear in mind that this doesn't show you the top speed. This is just the acceleration. For example, you can see the Bugatti is obviously the most expensive car in the game, and the acceleration is all the way at the top. Now, you might think this is the fastest car in the game. However, if you're looking for a high top speed, this vehicle is not the fastest. And in fact, the vehicle that does have the highest top speed is this one, the 2020 Overland Apache SFP. It actually goes over 30 miles per hour faster than the Bugatti. And as you can see, it's $92,000, which is like 95% cheaper than the Bugatti. And it goes more than 30 miles per hour faster. If you want to learn more about that car and why that actually is, make sure you check out my recent video on my channel. And if you do want to know the best value for money cars, I have also made another video on that. So check that out from the link in the description or just search your best value for money cars in Aero C and my video will come up. The next one is also about cars. Most of these are about cars. There's really the only thing that you can buy with your money in Aero C is cars. If you think about it, there's nothing else you can really buy with money except maybe tools and a few guns, but they aren't that expensive. Cars are just the most expensive thing. So yes, the next one is don't buy cars on teams. For example, if I come onto the bank here and join onto the bank team, obviously everyone knows about the bank truck however you don't get this for free I have this bank truck so i don't exactly know how much it costs but it's like ninety thousand dollars plus i think and you can see even for this car it's fifteen thousand dollars when you're starting out never ever ever buy cars on teams they are such a waste of money you don't actually get any money really from buying these cars yes you do get money from doing deliveries in the bank truck but you only get like one delivery every 10 minutes and you also have to bear in mind that your bank truck could get robbed by a criminal and you won't even get any money from that either and you only get a few thousand each time you do a delivery in the bank truck and like i said you can only do one like every 10 minutes so it really is not worth it you'll just be sat around here waiting so i really really don't recommend it and this is the same with other jobs like the limousine, for example, or the food truck at Three Guys. They really just aren't worth it. Don't buy any vehicles on any jobs. There are free vehicles on most of the jobs. And if there aren't, just use a different job because no job actually gets you much money anyway. And the next thing I'm going to be talking about is something I mentioned just, and that is guns. So don't go buying really, really expensive guns. If you have the big guns game pass, only use them guns when you have a high wanted level. Never buy a gun if you're just just trying to grind for money because at the end of the day if you get arrested it doesn't cost you anything it just costs you a few minutes whereas if you buy a gun to try and defend off of the police then you can see you can end up spending like two thousand four hundred dollars plus if you wanted an ammo box as well if you really really want to buy a gun just buy a really really cheap little handgun like the Breta m9 for example and the desert eagle is also a very good one but i believe you only get this if you're a paid access supporter or well, pretty much any gun here is good but even so they do get quite expensive and like i said Said, if you get arrested you lose that gun completely so that's a complete waste of like two thousand four hundred dollars if you buy like the most expensive machine gun so like i said don't buy any gun or if you really want to just buy a little cheap one like the breta m9 and only buy the expensive guns if you have like more than three stars wanted level and you really really need to defend yourself or if you're in a mafia and you're trying to rob the bank or something that'll be the only way that it will be really worth it and trust me from my experience i've made so much money in total i've done so many robberies i've played so many hours of erlc as a criminal you will just end up losing money if you keep buying guns so i do not recommend buying a gun all the time and only you should buy one in certain situations especially if you're trying to save money if you're happy with all the cars you've got then absolutely just buy guns and have a lot of fun or if you're not trying to grind and you're just trying to have a bit of fun then go for it buy whatever guns you want but if you're trying to save money don't buy many guns try and keep it as little as you can and similar to guns this is probably the most important one and the one that annoys me the most 
next do not buy melee weapons what i mean by this is at the tool store if we run in here to the tool store if you are trying to grind money please 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 never buy a baseball bat never buy a hammer and never buy a knife they are the most useless things when you are trying to kill someone if you think about it if a cop is here pretend my car is a cop right now let me just go buy a knife to give you a little example pretend my car is a cop right i've just robbed the jewelry store i now have a wanted level i have stars and they can arrest me my car which is the cop now has handcuffs so what am i going to do if you have a knife you have to run towards the handcuff and hit them that way you have to do like three or four hits of the knife to actually kill the officer look how long it's taken me and i'm just stood directly in front of this police officer everyone is just gonna hold e and arrest you you are screwed if you are trying to defend yourself as a criminal never buy melee weapons they are the biggest waste of money the only time you should ever buy them little weapons from the tool store is for role plays like hostages or if you're trying to do like a little robbery i don't know whatever but don't buy them if you're trying to grab money because again if you get arrested you lose them and it is a big old waste of money i hope i demonstrated that well enough to you and i hope i got the point across that you should not buy them they're a massive waste of money if you're trying to grind and also about the tool store i've just drove off from it but i completely forgot i had this one noted down don't buy tools that you don't need either don't waste your money on lock picks for example i always see people and i used to do this and tell you guys to do it myself as well which is kind of crazy i used to buy a lockpick from here go over to these houses attempt to rob it if i failed robbing it i'd drive back to the tool store buy another lockpick drive back rob the house again if i failed i'd drive back buy another lockpick rob the house it's like 700 dollars per lockpick by the time you've done that like three times you've wasted over two thousand dollars on a lockpick and depending on what mode you do if you do easy you're not even going to get two thousand dollars from the robbery if you do normal you might only just get over over 2,000 between two and 3,000 if you do hard yeah you might get like 5,000 um, at most and you might make a bit of profit from that but it's not worth it the amount of time it takes you to drive all the way here over there get out rob it drive back run inside get the lock pick go back in your car drive all the way over there you have to bear in mind you're wasting fuel as well which does cost you more money not much but if you're trying to save money every little helps so yeah it really isn't worth it and you also have to bear in mind that when you do get in you might also get one of them little vault safes which I absolutely hate they're really really hard to to do i think in my entire time of playing aerial c i've had loads of them and i've only ever successfully robbed it once even on the easy mode it's really difficult to do i don't know how much you get from it it's not that much really but the chances of you actually succeeding in doing it is low and the chances of you actually getting it is like one in ten house robberies you do and again if you get arrested you will lose your tools so don't buy every single tool and then get arrested because you'll lose it and the final thing is don't do hard i know it's really really tempting with all of the money that it showed you it shows you like max reward like ten thousand dollars on an atm yeah crazy right but when you do it even if you do succeed on hard the most you'll probably get is like six or seven thousand because that's the average you can even get like as low as like four or five thousand even on hard mode and on medium mode you're much more likely to do it and if you do it on hard you're much more likely to fail which means that you're wasting money on rfid disruptors which again is just not helping you make money because you're just spending all your money on tools that you're failing the robberies with and you're wasting them with so always try and do like easy or normal depending on how experienced you are i would never recommend anyone to do hard unless you are literally the best player in rlc and the final thing i want to talk about is the best one of them all so it's buy cars on sale not at full price if you don't know what i mean by this when you're at civilian spawn and you walk up to that thing you can buy a car right that's where you buy cars and you can buy them there for the original price the full price they are but as you've seen all of my videos as i'm driving around and as you'll see driving around the rlc map there's loads and loads of cars just like this it's quite a coincidence that these two are both pink but there's loads of cars like this and this one's a little bit more expensive so let's go over to this one here now if you haven't seen my last video on this by the way this is now the fastest car in era C in terms of top speed so you should always buy this one no matter what but you can see it's for sale by the owner and if you have a look it's 15 percent less so then normally it's 92,000. here it's 78,000. that's like what fifteen thousand ish dollars maybe just a little bit under cheaper than what it is from civilian spawn and if you think about it if you have the bugatti that's like 1.5 or 2 million you can be saving like hundreds of thousands of dollars by buying it here and you can find the bugattis mclarens whatever on sale here if you drive around the map join a few different servers eventually you will find at whatever car you want on sale whether it's an audi r8 literally 
any car you can buy from Civilian Spawn, you can find on sale. You can find them at pretty much any car park in the map, so make sure you have a good drive around and find one that you like and buy it from there. Never ever buy them at full price because, like I said, you can save hundreds of thousands of dollars if you're trying to buy the Bugatti. But yes, that is all for this video. I really, really hope this did help some of y'all. If it did, please make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Make sure you check out everything else from the description as well. Join my Discord server at discord.gg slash amaze. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at amazeplays underscore and of course follow me on TikTok at amazeplaysyt. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!